I'll tell you some of the fallouts of living for so long. Just three days back I returned to Bangalore airport. Late at night I was standing there quietly because <coughs> I was very tired and uh, I was waiting for my back to come. Uh, one of the senior Gauda lawyers, he comes up to me and Namaskara sir. I said Namaskara. Then I moved away. I was in no mood to make conversation with this donkey. He came round the other way. Came came round to where I was. Yes, sir, we do Tumba time I do. We have not heard of you in the press, in the TV, in this, that, various other things. So I just told him, I said, Gaudre. Nanu retire again in there. And uh, apart from that, I have not been well. I have also been travelling quite a lot. So that probably explains it. This fellow, without uh, battering an eyelid, you know what he tells me? Oh, Haga, sir, Nan Vinci, they are news of Hodi I said, Tumba, thanks, Lord, eh? But I said, you knew me for ten years when I was in the High Court. Nandu bought a friendly nature in there. Nandu won the policy in there. Nandu hogwaga, Nandu mitra nela takudok tene. Then he tells me, oh, you were there, Nandu held back the two, etc. My friends, there are probably uh, great advantages also when <coughs> God keeps you for a long time. I do concede that uh, most of my friends and others have, uh, and that many of them are no longer around, uh, many of them are not in good, good health, good shape. And uh, God has been good to me. <coughs> he has blessed me in many ways. <coughs> and uh, I do believe that uh, there is a purpose behind it. And uh, I have tried to, I try to always uh, contribute and to give back uh, not only to society but uh, to various causes. Uh, I have also, I also had one uh, quality which I cultivated in Bangalore in the old days. Uh, Bangalore was a small little town and it used to close down by six o'clock in the evening. Uh, one of the additional reasons why people didn't go out after that was uh, there used to be terrible stories. Every few days a new one used to be spun about the ghosts and devils in different uh, roads and by lanes, etc. And the young fellows were very terrified. And um, a friend of mine once, when I told him how, how dangerous it was to pass by the road uh, behind the Galapagos church because there is a cemetery there, this fellow was a daredevil of a boy. And he told me, he said, listen, if you want to live a purposeful life, one of the most important qualities you need to cultivate is that you've got to conquer fear. And he said, we will go through that exercise today. And much against my wishes, we are returning at one o'clock in the morning after having seen some movie in one of those Ramshackle theatres. And he took me for a long walk through the Milagra Cemetery. And he said, I hope you have got over your fear of ghosts and devils and things. Now I owe a lot to uh, Mangalore. <coughs> uh, Mangalore is, uh, I don't mean Mangalore in the sense that uh, a town or a city or buildings or rivers, but uh, to the human beings who comprise Mangalore. And that's one of the reasons why I am very deeply grateful to all of you 
for having come here this morning. Corruption has invaded almost every field. But at that time, I have been telling the government that they should invoke the constitutional provision of asking those of the outstanding, the good judges who are in good health, to come back. The constitution provides for it to come back to the courts and work as judges. And uh, they were seriously considering it, and in fact, they had asked me uh, whether I was willing to do it. So I remember in my address at Xavier uh, Technical, I told them, I said, there is a possibility that I may go back to the judiciary. But I won't repeat the mistake I made when I was a judge earlier, uh, because at that time I was not corrupt. I said, I shall fall in line with the present trends. And uh, one of the pledges I can make to you is that if I am reappointed, within the first one month, I will give you a donation of one crore of rupees. And then he let fly and he, he kept on pledging that he said, he said, I have committed one sin in that I worked for this Narendra Damur Das Modi. He says, if God keeps me as he should for another two years, he said, I will see that he is kicked out not only from the Prime Ministership, not from Delhi, but I have personally lodged him in the Tihar Jail. <laughs> but I, all I'm, all I'm trying to say, my friends, is that with the, uh, you see, with the changing times, uh, sometimes people feel that we've also got to adapt ourselves. But um, I, I also believe that uh, there are areas in which you should not change. Because otherwise there will be disaster. I remember many years ago when for the first time uh, we had a little function here at, uh, at this place and uh, I told Frankie Bob and JJB and the others who were there, I said this is one of the most beautiful settings in the world. <coughs> it's unique for many reasons. There is a tea factory in Sri Lanka and uh, when the company modernized, uh, they wanted to demolish the tea factory. Now this tea factory is about a century old. And if you go to Sri Lanka, it's worth visiting. You see, what they did was, they have converted the old tea factory into a five-star hotel. And all the, the machinery is intact, they're very intelligently done it. And it's really wonderful when you can blend the old and the new. Because this, this idea that uh, if something new has to come, that you've got to demolish what was there, I think this is insanity. And today on this uh, beautiful occasion, at this venue, all that, all that I want to say is that while I'm, I'm deeply grateful, I'm very deeply grateful for the, uh, for the love shown to me, <coughs> For the honor. Last Sunday I was in uh, Mysore and uh, there was a huge, huge gathering. I did not know I had gone there for a lecture, but there was a huge gathering because they had a felicitation uh, for me. And in addition to the shawl, uh, uh, it was probably appropriate because I got very little hair left. They put that uh, oven there. And I told them, I said, if there is any doubt that has now been demolished because I look like a true Kanadika in this. But I also remember telling them and they, were, they went up in hysterics because uh, as you know, sometimes people get carried away and in uh, Karnataka they make these beautiful gardens. And on ceremonial occasions they make that uh, massive, massive big garland out of some two, three thousand roses and you need two people to carry it and God help the person on whose neck it's put, you see. Well, my friends, thank you. Uh, thank you so much uh, for uh, coming here on this Sunday morning, <coughs> sharing, sharing this occasion. And the only message 
only message that uh, I can I can leave with you because I don't come here uh, to Bangalore too often. Uh, even at this age, I travel quite a lot. Uh, in fact, I have a very very long flight to do tonight because uh, I'm going <coughs> on the way to the west coast of America because we are having a world conference on climate change and uh, they have given me the honour of inaugurating it because that's one of my pet fields. But my, my only message and my request to you is that uh, please preserve <coughs> the beautiful, uh, irreplaceable culture of Mangalore, of Kodiyal, and uh, please, please also try and see that the heritage places like this one do not disappear. Very, very grateful to you. And before I sit down, um, I want to perform one, one little task. Uh, I have a habit of uh, uh, thanking Providence <coughs> for the number of years given to me. And uh, when I was 60, we had a little dinner at uh, Xavier Technical. And on that occasion, I requested uh, the trustees to accept a check from me uh, for a sum of 60,000 rupees because I said it is, uh, it is my Thanksgiving for 60 years. Now another 15 years have gone and the figure has to increase but since the, you see, as you, there's a colleague of mine in the High Court who, as he got older, he used to keep saying that now I'm firing on only three cylinders, etc. So, in view of uh, the uncertainties, I now decided that uh, I, will, I will make it two for each year that uh, uh, God has given me. And uh, I want to say this is a tribute to Mangalore and to the good work that they are doing. And uh, may I request Frankie Bob to kindly accept uh, this little gesture from me. Thank you, thank, thank you very much, uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, God bless you. And uh, <coughs> uh, sorry, uh, this throat of mine is endemic. There was a time once, one morning, when I had lost my voice and I, I went to the college chapel and Father Sebastian was a very dear friend of mine. The, every time he saw me, he used to say, good morning. So that morning he, he said good morning, but there was no reply from me. So I went meekly up to him. I went close by and I whispered, I said, uh, uh, Father, I have lost my voice. You know what he did? He smiled and told me good for others. <laughs> well, thank you very much. And uh, I will say there were a row. And uh, <coughs> uh, there is a beautiful expression in uh, Konkani, which uh, you can't translate it into English. And it just says, Mogasun. 